so if i were to define microbiology it's nothing but study of microorganisms you see elephants and lions and then it is easier to study them however there are these microbes who are like all over you all around you all inside you everywhere like you touch a surface and there is there is a plethora of microorganisms over there so it was very intriguing to study uh, these invisible organism who have immense potential it's wonderful in the sense how a tiny microscopic organism can do wonders can drive processes uh, on their own it's it's very interesting as a whole subject and it's not monotonous I'm Dr. Aparna Pandey. I'm a PhD by uh, in microbiology, and I am a senior research and development associate at RUR Green Life. Biology being very close to my heart, I really always enjoyed studying biology. So I completed my graduation in microbiology. During my post graduation, that's when I realized that research is where my heart lies, and I really love slogging myself into the lab. So I completed my PhD again in my, uh, microbiology as a major subject. Um, my main key role is to do research with respect to the composting, and if there is any other innovative solution that we can bring onto the table in terms of environment solution, that's my key role to cater to. It's because somebody as unstable as me, I would. I would want change. What made me push into PhD was the uncertainty of this subject. In the sense, when it comes to research, you don't know what your tomorrow is going to be like. You set up an experiment, and you don't. You expect A, you may get B. You must have thought, okay, I may get B, I may get C. You may also end up getting Z. That is what pushed me to get into research. That is something that I crave. When I get up in the morning, I want to know what I'm going to do today. and um, i get to interact with compost i get to see how how the natural process of breakdown happens and i can tweak it how how using my uh, scientific background using my scientific knowledge understanding what they are doing at what stage of composting understanding how they are bringing about that breakdown and whatever is happening in that compost pile is all all the uh, magic of microorganisms i execute an idea and i see failing or you know hitting it so that is one more beautiful part over here one key thing is passion definitely that's required for any profession that you take up other than that uh, skill set wise you have to have that love for reading you have to have the skill for analyzing what you have read and getting the whole gist of what you've done and i would never say that as a researcher you can have a 9 to 5 la life or a 9 to 6 life and that's bacteria at work if it wants to work it will work if it doesn't want to work it will not to work there will be days when you will be working 24/7 weeks together 4 hours 2 hours 3 hours or maybe 1 hour of sleep you'll get but then there'll be days when you can kill your time so you have to be uh, able to adjust to these kind of uh, schedules and i really love the jungles really want to go back to the jungles over and over again and um, every time i go to my client's place every time i go to my lab and i smell that compost that's that's the most gratifying thing that i would say definitely there's a lot of innovation that is needed if i were to look at this profession 5 years down the line it is going to boom the amount of waste that we are generating every day is just increasing and if you look at this hill behind me This isn't actually a hill. It's 90 years of accumulated garbage. Okay, something has to be done about this. And my job personally deals directly with that something that has to be done about it. So this I am able to, you know, do that 0.01% to bring in that change. So when I get that number that my company RUR Green Life as a as a company says one ton of waste going to the landfills it diverts it into recycling 
which is able to you know create a garden lush green gardens of about 400 square feet all these numbers gratify me it makes me think that yes if i'm spending that 8 hours of my day it is definitely making a change somewhere in this my own city where i am living and mumbai is a city which needs this kind of solution immediately if not we don't have time and uh, somewhere at the end of the day when you finish your day at 9 pm and you go to the bed you may really want to feel happy about what you've done